would would be my YouTube channel. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back. It's Brittany. Today I'm going to be showing you all this coppery fall eye makeup that I have on today. I'm going to be using this Jaclyn Hill palette to give you this eye look and I'm also going to be showing you all my foundation routine. Um, this full coverage glowy foundation that I have on today. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will get back to y'all. First, I'm going in with my Smashbox foundation and I'll be blending that out with a damp Morphe beauty sponge. To conceal, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This concealer gives really good coverage without being too cakey. With that same sponge, I'm setting the under eyes and the areas where it gets slightly oily with the Chanel Loose Powder. I am on the drier side right now so I haven't been setting my whole face and I feel like it helps to give me a little bit more of a dewy look. Now to bronze, I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer with the Morphe R2 brush and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks and across my forehead and then also down my neck to kind of blend everything together. Now I'm just taking a little cafecito break. If you know me, you know I love coffee and I love cute mugs. And also, Teddy just kind of wanted to see what I was doing so I thought I'd bring him up. That tongue never stops. <laughs> Alright, so now I am using a Morphe brush with the Chanel Powder Blush in the color In Love. And I'm just going to sweep that across my cheeks. Sometimes if I feel like it's not blending out like I want it to, I'll just kind of run that same sponge across everything. To fill in my brows, I'm using the Benefit Brow Pencil in the shade 3.5.
once I'm done with my brows, I'm using the Urban Decay Brow Finish in clear just to kind of set everything. And I like to brush them up and out just to give me more of a fluffy look sometimes. Using that same concealer from the under eyes, I am prepping my eyelids for the eyeshadow and also slightly sculpting my eyebrows with this little brush that I got from the craft store. Sigma brush with my Chanel powder just to set the eyelids. This will help the eyeshadows glide a little bit better over the eyelid and blend together. I'm using a Morphe R37 brush and now using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Using this color as a transition shade, this will help to blend everything out. Now with the Morphe M433 brush, I'm dipping into this slightly darker shade and keeping that mainly in the crease and lower than that first shade. I'm just building up that same color until it's as dark as I want it to be. And then once I'm done, I'll use that first brush with nothing on it and I'm just gonna go over everything to blend out more. Now with that same Morphe M433 brush, I'm doing the same steps just with every shade that I go darker, I'm keeping it lower and lower. And then once I don't have much product on the brush, I'll flick it out to the outer corner. This just helps to give me more of like a cat eye effect. Once I'm done blending that out, I'll go in with that same first brush that we used and I'm just going over everything to make sure it's seamless and nice and blended. So here, I didn't feel like it was as dark as I wanted it to be, so I'm just taking that and darkening the outer corner a little bit more. Right now, I'm cutting the crease to get a more defined shape and also this will help for my shimmers that I put on to pop a little bit more. Taking a Morphe M124 flat brush, I'm applying the shimmer shade to my inner corner and I'm just going to build that up until it's the desired look. And then right here, I switched to um, an Urban Decay brush that I got with the palette and I'm using that instead because I felt like the first brush wasn't really packing on the color that I wanted. And now I'm using that same Urban Decay brush to pack on that gold shimmer. 
and right now I'm just going to darken the outer corner a little bit more right now I'm using the Clinique liquid eyeliner to give me a cat eye I really love this eyeliner I feel like it stays all day and it doesn't crease or transfer or anything like that I'm just gonna put on a little bit of mascara and then I'm gonna go in with my Ardell Wispies. And while the glue is setting, I like to go in with chapstick before I put my lipstick on. And shout out to my mom for showing me this chapstick because I love this green tea chapstick. It works so good. taking this crown precision crease brush and I'm using that color to dust along my lower lash line and then once I'm done I'll take a slightly darker color and keep that more on the outer corner I'm taking this clean Morphe brush that doesn't have a name on it, but I'm just running that across my lash line to smoke out everything. I'm using this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Lucky and it's a really pretty copper color and I feel like it went with this eyeshadow look now I'm just using this Lancome highlighter with my Morphe brush and I'm just sweeping that across my cheekbones and right above my eyebrows and then to set everything I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter and then I'll go in with a little bit more of that same highlighter just to make it pop a little bit more I'm using a small pencil brush with that same highlighter and I'm just going to put that on my brow bone. Now I'm using the Laura Geller Pout Perfection Lip Liner and I'm also using the NARS Liquid Lipstick in Slow Ride to line my lips and then to fill everything in.
Thank you all for watching. I'm going to be doing a new video every week. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment and I will check that out. Um, if you all have any other questions, just let me know.